You see, that's why when we come to the Last Supper, especially in John's Gospel, what unites us at the Last Supper is, you notice, it's, it's a great Last Supper speech of Jesus running from chapter 13 through 17 of John's Gospel. You remember the things that you don't hear in that extraordinary address that Jesus, that John's Gospel has Jesus give to his followers. We hear that we should love one another. We hear that the Father loves Jesus. We hear that Jesus loves the Father. We hear that, um, that Jesus loves us. We hear that the Father loves us. But the one thing we never hear is that we ought to love God. No place in the whole of, this, of the talk that Jesus gives does he ever say, you ought to love me, you ought to love my Father. Because you see, God is not the another object for our love. God is our capacity for love. It's not, it's not that we set out to love God. It's that in loving anyone, we're experiencing God. It's always a matter of being part of a community. That's why it's so important to be part of the church. It's not that the church is the community that's got all the answers to all the important questions. It's not that the church is the one who knows the truth and doles it out to us in doctrine. It's not that the church is the place that we go to celebrate the, uh, the liturgy in a way that touches us or moves us, at least occasionally. It's not that the church is any of those things. It's that the church is the name we give to the network of people whom we love and who love back. We're talking about a community of agape, and if you've never experienced that community, you can't know what we mean when we talk about God. 